All right, we're back. We're back. We are back. I'm so and excited to be here. I am too. And I love that they play the same commercial that advertises. What does it advertise? It advertises depends. <laughs> I like that too. It fits right in with what I'm here to talk about today. That's great. That's great. That's great. Oh, could you hold on one second? Uh oh. What, uh, what's, is something wrong? Uh, Jamichael? Hello! <laughs> yes, Jamichael. Um, our closed captioning just went out. What? That's a shame. It, I'm sorry. It, it happens. I mean, we're, we're kind of a nickel and dime station here. So, what I need you to do, I need you to, to do sign language. Is this sign language? This, well, That's yeah. Okay. It's like talking with your hands. Okay? Right. right. You're Italian. You know how to do that. Yeah, okay. So, what I need you to do... Let's do the sign language to the folks at home so they can understand what we're talking about. Do you know sign language? I did. I learned it from a blind magician. That's cool. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Great. Okay. I'm ready. So here we are. So, tell us why you're here. Well, um, as your viewers at home know, I am here to talk about incontinence in teenagers. <laughs> But what's the guy in the middle supposed to do? Exactly, exactly. And honestly, what with puberty hitting and the hair growing and the period, there's, there's a lot going on down in that region. There is, there is. And, it, and it, it's hard to keep control of. I mean, I know when I was a child, I'm grown now and all of my former classmates have died off, so I can talk about this without embarrassing. I had problems. I yeah, did. I had problems too. I, I had problems did. Too. It was very embarrassing, especially when I would have to climb the rope in gym class. Yes. Yes. I gym hated class. that. Yes, I hated that. For me, for me, it was it was the time when we had to go we had to swim because we played uh, water polo and suddenly I'd be getting balls thrown at me and stuff whoa, was happening and I didn't that, know how to explain it. Right. 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 So. So you, so you're here to talk about the solution to all of this. The solution to incontinence in teenagers is castration. You know that makes sense. Doesn't it? That makes sense. In a sense, you're killing two birds with one stone. You are. You are. You are because in that, I mean, as a father, as a father of three teenage girls, I can't trust them going on dates. No, I can't. So I keep them chained up in my basement, which I think is perfectly logical. Yeah. Now, if these teenage boys were castrated, I could let my daughters out once a month. Right, because nobody's getting in there. Right. So right. It's, it's a twofer, is what it is. It is, it is, it is. It is. And this was your idea. It was my idea. Um, I How did you stumble upon this? Just... Funny you should ask. Oh, I... Funny you should ask that. I hear that a lot. Yeah. I had a rough time in high school. You? I got picked on. I got kicked in the face. Wow. Um, and you can actually believe this, but I actually got attacked by a bear. Did you go to school in Canada? Yeah, yeah, it was. Oh, that's, that's interesting. <laughs> so a big old grizzly just picked you up. And threw you down and stomped all over you. <laughs> See that? Wow. Yeah, yeah that's a that, scar. That's a scar. I, I've never seen one before. Oh, it's right into my back. That's how did you get away? Well, I forget in constant. Explain how you escaped from this bear. I'm really into this story. I punched it in the face to begin with. Wow, well, did it work? No, it didn't work. Huh. I had to keep on punching it and punching it and punching it and punching it and punching it, punching it until it, it started to, to breathe heavily um, and it jumped on top of me, actually, in the hallway of my school. That is crazy. People were passing by um, and then we just started to wrestle, me and this bear. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 